it's day 315. Today we're going to be stitching using my mini 4-in-1 machine quilting ruler. Let's get stitching! I'll start out by using my blue Mark Begone marker and a rotary type ruler and I'm going to mark a T through the center of my quilt block. From there, I'm ready to begin stitching. I'll start out by stitching in the ditch all the way around the outside of the block. So like you can see here, I'm adjusting my ruler as I go because it's not the exact same curve. So I'll stitch a little ways, adjust, and then stitch a little bit more. When I get back to that marked point on the side of my block, I'll start out by stitching a straight point to point line, creating a box in the center of my circle quilt block. From there, when I get back to the point where I started, then I'm going to travel up my stitch line, my previous stitch line, and I'm going to start stitching some straight lines that radiate out from that center block. Now, I want these blocks, these lines, to all be spaced a half an inch apart, so I'll stitch along the outside of the block along the ditch, traveling over a half an inch. Then from there, I'll travel back down to the stitch line, travel along the stitch line a half an inch, and repeat that process. Then when I get to the opposite side, then I'm going to adjust and now stitch straight lines that radiate out from there. I'll repeat this process on all four sides of my block. Once I get back to that point where I started, or any point on the block, then I'm going to dress this block up just a little bit. So now I'm going to adjust and use the largest curve on my mini 4-in-1 machine quilting ruler and stitch point-to-point -point curves. So make sure you're holding your ruler so that the outside of your ruler is a quarter of an inch away from that corner. I hope you enjoyed today's block and found a little bit of inspiration with my machine quilting. Now just remember, you can pick up the panel, the rulers, the thread, all of the notions that I'm using in this video today over on my website, peaceandquilt.com. And don't forget to share your progress pictures over on Instagram using the hashtag Let's Stitch with Natalia. That's where we will be selecting winners for weekly prizes. See you all tomorrow!